Hello, everyone. We've recently modified our database, and as a result of that, we wanted to take a few moments to highlight some of these enhancements and show you how they can positively impact your experience. We've reworked over 8,000 items and streamlined existing choices to help you avoid confusion. This means you'll be able to find line items faster and in fewer clicks. We've targeted three areas where we think you'll feel the greatest impact. Finish carpentry, painting, and cleaning. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of those categories as we compare the previous version of the database to the new enhancements. We'll start with the finished carpentry category, and I'll go into the trims and molding subcategory. So here's what you're used to seeing in the previous version of the database. As I scroll through the available line items, we see all these different types of base moldings to choose from. And you'll notice that a lot of details are included here, like size, type, style, etc. Let's scroll down and we'll take a look at a specific example. So here we've got base molding streamline one and a half inch hardwood and one and a half inch softwood. Then we have two and a half inch hardwood and two and a half inch softwood and so on. What we're seeing is that a lot of these line items are pretty similar. And when I select some of them, you'll notice that the price difference is either negligible or even non-existent. Now let's take a look at the new enhancements. We'll go into the finished carpentry category and the trims and molding subcategory. The data has been completely restructured and simplified. So rather than seeing those specific details that ultimately had a minimal impact on the price, each item now offers consistent choices and size ranges. Let's take a look at base molding MDF as our example. You'll notice that it's available in four different size ranges, three inch to six inch, six inch to eight inch, over eight inch, and up to three inch. We'll also see this is now true for base molding paint grade, polyurethane, PVC, etc. This adds a lot of consistency to your experience and helps ensure you can find the items that you need quickly and efficiently. Another tool that we've enhanced is the ability to find related items. Let's say we're working with base molding MDF three inch to six inch. I can right click on it and select find related items. Now I can quickly see several related items displayed all together. And from here, I could replace, prime and paint, or clean that molding all at the same time and all from the same place. Next, we'll go back to the previous version of the database and let's stick with that base molding as our example. In this scenario, we've already applied the base molding and now we're going to apply some paint to it. So we'll take a look at the painting category and go into the trims and molding subcategory. Here's what you're used to seeing in the previous version of the database. We scroll through the various line items, and once again, we see base molding streamline one and a half inch hardwood and one and a half inch softwood. When I select each of these, we see that the available action for both items is paint, and they're the exact same price. Then let's say I actually decided to stain that base molding instead of painting it, I would continue scrolling down until I find that particular line item. With the new enhancements, everything's been simplified. So here, we'll go to the new database into the painting category and the trims and molding subcategory. Instead of having all of the different types of base molding to scroll through, we simply have base molding six inch and under or base molding over six inch. And now when I select an item, I have all of these different actions sand, prime and paint, stain, all available to me from one common place. For our last example, let's say we now want to clean that base molding. So we'll go into the previous version of the database, into the cleaning category, and we'll stick with the molding subcategory. Once again, I scroll through all of these different types of moldings that are available. And when I start selecting some of these line items, we see the only available action is clean. Here in the new database, we'll go into the cleaning category and the trims and molding subcategory. The cleaning category was reduced by 83%, so we now have way fewer items to scroll through. You'll also find these hyperlinks displayed at the bottom here, so you can quickly find other related categories and items. So folks, there you have it. We've restructured the data, simplified your choices, and added consistency to your experience. 
We're confident with these enhancements, you'll be able to quickly navigate the database and ultimately do your job more efficiently. If you have any questions or require additional assistance, please let us know. You can reach our support site by navigating to support.sembilityproperty.com to find the contact information that best suits your region. It's completely free to contact us and we encourage you to do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.